family is weird, but trust me, mine is the weirdest. My mom is pretty normal, but my dad is Bigfoot. Yes, <laughs> the Bigfoot. You wouldn't know it to look at me, but I'm a Bigfoot too. I've got all the magical powers, but fortunately, none of the fur. What power? Well, like the name Bigfoot implies, I've got big feet. <sighs> they were annoying at first. I went through a lot of shoes. But barefoot, these babies can move. Wow. Hi. Yes, I am with Adam. I've got really good hearing. Yeah, he is so cute. But he is very shy. Sometimes embarrassingly so. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Also, Bigfoots have the power to heal, which comes in handy for all sorts of injuries. We save a ton on medical bills. And there's one more thing. I can talk to animals. Morning, Adam. <laughs> Morning, Wilbur. Don't use up all the hot water. Uh-uh, not my fault. Look at me. I got a lot of surface area. We live with a bunch of animals. They were my dad's friends when he used to live in the forest, and now they're just a part of the family. We're making pancakes. You hungry? Hit me. Here's your plate. Go for it. <laughs> oh. Thanks. Nice catch. My pleasure. Morning, everyone. Adam, you should clean up your bathroom. There is hair everywhere. Not my fault. Have a pancake. Whee! <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, Trapper, what did I tell you about throwing food? Come on, that was a great toss. Don't blame me for your lousy catch. Having said that, I just love you. What did he say? My mom can't talk to animals, which means it's up to me to keep the peace. Uh, Trapper says he's so sorry, and you look lovely this morning. I didn't say that. Don't misrepresent me. <laughs> like I said, my family is the weirdest. You know, for such a big fella, you sure do drink a tiny cup of coffee. Any more of this, and I won't hibernate for a year. <laughs> Me, personally, I need a bit more of a kick in the morning. <laughs> oh, it's almost time. Where's the remote? I'm on it. We're taking great care of the environment. Clean oil by extract. Good morning, world! I'm Becky Tadmore. My next guest needs no introduction, but I'm gonna go ahead and introduce him anyway. He's come out of the woodwork, literally! And here he is, the man everyone's talking about, Bigfoot! <laughs> Definitely an upgrade over the jean shorts. Uh, thanks, Becky. I didn't have access to a lot of fancy clothing shops when I was hiding in the forest. So, I've got to start with the question that is on everyone's mind. <laughs> Where have you been all these years? Well, uh, it's a complicated story. I was a research scientist studying genetic sequencing when one of my experiments went wrong. My DNA mutated and turned me into Bigfoot. I think we can all agree. Oof, you make those mutations look good. Oh, am I right, ladies? <laughs> yes! Now, where were we? I went into hiding because I was being hunted by a pharmaceutical company. Ooh. They wanted to lock me away and study my genetic mutation. But when the company was brought down, I could finally come back to live with my family. That must have been quite a shock for them. I owe it all to my son, Adam. He's the one who tracked me down and brought me home. <laughs> Ugh, I hate that picture. <laughs> I can see why, but don't feel bad. Not everyone can be as photogenic as me. Look at my face. I literally don't have a bad side. Shh, stop talking. <laughs> it's amazing to finally be back home. It would be more amazing if you were ever here. Oh, come on, be supportive. <laughs> well, uh, even though you're not climbing trees all day, ooh, you are still in incredible shape. <laughs> Getting a little handsy there, Becky. Ooh, your muscles are so big. You're in such incredible shape. Bleh. <laughs> what happened to being supportive, Mom? Don't use my words against me. <laughs> so you're a 
big star now. I'm not so sure about that. Oh, come on. Everybody wants a piece of those big feet. What's the next step? Clothing line? Sneaker endorsement? Video game deal? <gasps> you know I should introduce you to my agent. You know, I just want to find a way to make the world a better place. Oh, that is so sweet. Ladies and gentlemen, Bigfoot. That was a lovely interview. Bigfoot came off like such a gentleman. Yeah, I thought he looked puffy. Did they blow dry his fur? This is why I've been saying he needs a full-time road manager. Uh-huh, let me guess. You're putting yourself up for the job. Naturally. I've got an eye for showbiz, the glitz, the glamour. Maybe he should get a road manager who doesn't have fleas. Hey, my fleas have more integrity than half the people you meet in this business. All right, all right, time's up. You've got school. Yeah, great. Adam, can your dad sign my poster? Um, can Bigfoot come to my birthday party? Just him, though. It's a tight guest list. Your dad is, like, super-duper cool. I want a letter. Can you give it to him? Please? Children! Children, disperse from this hallway immediately! You're violating fire code. Adam, you and I go way back. We understand each other. Yeah, you suspended me two months ago. Oh, Adam. <laughs> I'm sure that was just an administrator there. But you're the administrator. Be that as it may, could you do me a solid and get your dad to sign this picture? Have him make it out to Principal I, I just Jones. need a minute, sir. No, Not no, 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 no. I have to go. My good friend, Principal Jones. Better yet, my best uh, friend, Principal uh, Fun. for my paper on <laughs> trash recycling. Really? I didn't realize dumpster diving was your thing. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I'm a big-time dumpster diver. <laughs> so, this is a pretty crazy time for you. I just wanted my dad back, but now he's so busy, it's like he never came home. It's weird how life has a way of going great for about a minute. Then it always throws you a curveball. Yeah, tell me about it. I grew up assuming my parents would be together forever. But that sure didn't happen. Maybe the problem is expecting too much from other people. I don't know. I just thought things would finally be normal, but they're not. Suddenly he's famous and everybody wants something from him. Look on the bright side. People love your dad. He makes them happy. Sometimes. I wish he was still a secret. What is that? <laughs> Eh, we had to plus size our ride when we added a grizzly bear to the family. Seriously? You're going to take your driver's test in that thing? Oh man, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Good luck with the parallel parking. <laughs> well, that's a guaranteed fail. Looks like I'm gonna be taking the bus forever. Taking the bus? You're driving the bus. Ding! This is your stop. See you later. Hey, Emma. I was thinking, well, maybe we could go to the movies sometime. Like, on a date or whatever. Ugh, I'm pathetic. Forget third world huh. prices. I want fourth uh. world prices. Don't do anything until I see that contract. What? Now he can't fax it over. It's not 1983. Fax is dead. Hey, how you doing, kid? Here you go, on the house. Wait a second, scratch that. 
The manufacturer's cost. Oh, wait a minute. Wholesaler's cost, okay? Right? No! I told you it's too expensive. Is? Find a cheaper yeah. factory. Eat that, you identical looking bad guys. Boom! Fireball! <laughs> wait a minute. Bigfoot shoots fireballs? The logic in this game strains credulity to say the least. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Whoa, whoa, where'd that guy come from? Ah! Oh, this Bigfoot video game stinks. The raccoon's the weakest character. He doesn't even have any special moves. Armor, zero. Magic, zero. Strength, zero. Ah, this is shameful. Hey, Adam, how was your day? Trust me, you don't want to know. Well, so what's going on here? Uh, this stuff just showed up after the TV appearance. Forget Who's Burbo that guys? guy? He came with the junk. Well, I think you look handsome. <laughs> Not on this one. Yikes. Listen, Bigfoot, you gotta pull the trigger and sign these contracts now. We gotta strike while the iron's hot, because you're only hot until you're not, right? Sheesh, this guy is all about the hard sell. Don't let him rush you. Don't sign anything until they agree to a line of plush toys based on me. Those would sell like hotcakes. We'll do multiple variants to shaft the collectors. We can do cute and cuddly, fierce and fangy, maybe one of me and, oh, Repose? Uh, I, uh, I don't want this. Uh, what's the matter? The money's not good enough? Yeah, you drive a hard bargain, Bigfoot. But I respect that. I'll tell you what. We'll get you more. We'll up your percentage. I mean, I don't want to do this. Period. I, I don't want to license my likeness in all media and methods of dissemination. Blah, blah, blah. What? Listen, I gotta go. I'm, I'm dealing with a, a thing. I'll call you back. I don't want to sell junk with my face on it. I want to do something meaningful with my life. Meaningful? I can't take 10% of meaningful. What about this letter from the nonprofit? Do you have any idea why they call it a nonprofit? Hmm? Hey! Uh, because they don't make any profit! Take your junk and get out! I don't know how these things happen. I understand tempers are hot, so just sleep on it. <laughs> Stand that guy. The situation is really getting out of hand. You didn't take the money. What's wrong with you? We got three people and ten animals living in a two-bedroom house here. You know, you're always welcome to sleep outside in the rain. Oh, me? No way. I love it here. Thanks, guys. Dear Dr. Harris. Oh. We're writing to you from Rocky Valley, Alaska. The government just authorized the Extract Oil Company to remove oil from our largest wildlife preserve. This only happened because Extract convinced the government that their clean oil process has zero environmental impact. We think Extract is lying, and they're putting this incredible ecosystem at risk. With your fame and influence, you could help expose what's really going on here and stop Extract before it's too late. Signed, Pam and Seamus. Extract, these guys are everywhere. Do you believe in destiny? Oh boy, here we go again. This, this is what I was meant to do. Use my voice to help people. I think I should go. To Alaska? Seriously? I can make a difference there. No way, you just got home. You can't leave again. What's the point of fame if I don't use it to make the world a better place? Yeah, you know what, Dad? I hate to break it to you, but one person can't make a difference all by themselves. You're wrong there, buddy. Let me prove it to you. And what about me? You know what? We need to talk this over. On the record, I would have taken the money. Adam, can we talk? What is there to talk about? You've just returned home after all these years and you already want to leave. Have a fun vacation. Come on, you know it's not like that. I, I need to do something with my life. And I need sleep. I've got school in the morning. I love you, buddy.
It's uh, bumpy. This? <laughs> this is nothing. Why, it's so cloudy. I was really hoping to get some good shots from up here. A filmmaker, eh? Well, why don't you say so? I like the action movies. Here we go. Come on. Show you the old loop-de-loop. -loop. Come on, here we go! No thanks. I'm pretty sure I got it. All right. Take it easy. Bigfoot here. I just landed in Rocky Valley, Alaska. I'm here to do what I can to help save this place, but first things first, I gotta find the people who invited me. Look at this place. The air is so fresh and, and clean. A and listen to how quiet it is. Ugh. We'll have to cut that part out. Back in the day, Rocky Valley used to be a mining town. This old ghost town has been deserted for over a century. It's good to see that nature is reclaiming the land. They call it a ghost town, but we all know there's no such thing as ghosts. Well, that's creepy. Hello, is someone there? really got my heart racing there. I thought you might be a ghost. Hey! Get off my land! What? Buzz off! What? Nice to meet you. you. Call me Bigfoot. Everyone does. I'm Seamus. Thank you so much for coming. You've got a great cause worth fighting for. I couldn't wait to get here. That said, I expected, well, more people? So far, there's only the two of us. But we're highly motivated. Well, it's a start. So where's the oil company? Somewhere on the other side of that bridge. Nobody can get close. They've got guards on the ground and drones blocking the airspace. Nothing shady going on there. Well, I'm here to help amplify your message. Hey, man, I'm Arlo. Welcome to Rocky Valley. Arlo was born and raised in Alaska, so our cause is close to his heart. Hey, man, we're camped out over there. Find yourself a sweet patch of earth and throw down your gear. Thanks, I will. Uh, first, jump over there with the, with the rest of the group. To anybody out there watching, 
This is a call to action. Write letters to your local representative, share this video, or if you're up for an adventure, come join us here in Alaska and make your voice heard. Until next time, remember that whoever you are, wherever you are, you can make a difference. <laughs> Not gonna make a difference with 14 views. <laughs> 14 views? <laughs> I get more than that with a lens cap on. I kind of feel sorry for him. At that rate, he's not gonna be home for Christmas. He needs our help. Does he? I thought one man could make a difference. Come on, be a good sport. Okay, okay. Let's see if we can spice it up a little bit. Let's add some music and snappy editing. Star wipes. No star wipes. What do you mean, no star wipes? We need this to look professional. Ugh. To anybody out there watching, this is a call to action. To action. The government just authorized the Extract Oil Company to remove oil from our largest wildlife reserve. Share this video, or if you're up for an adventure, come join us here in Alaska. 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 Oh, yeah. Until next time, remember that whoever you are, wherever you are, you can make a difference. Much better. You know Spielberg, but it'll do. Hey, Emma. Hey, how are you doing? Great. Uh, I want to ask you something. Uh, well, my dad's internet game is super weak, and he needs all the help he can get. So, I fine-tuned his video, and I was wondering if you could get your soccer team to share it? Yeah? Um, I'll, I'll text them right now. Thanks. You rock. Yep. Looking good, Dad. Hopefully this gets enough attention for you to come home. Okay, enough with the video. This is my internet time. <sighs> Ooh, that's the good stuff right there. Ugh, I can't believe mm. you look at that trash. One man's trash is another man's treasure. went viral, man. They're coming in from all over the place. It gave your computer a, a virus? <laughs> no, man. The video went viral. Like, everybody's seen it. Oh, that's good, then. Heck, yes, it's good. Yeah! Way to go, Bigfoot! Now put on some sandals, throw on a poncho, and we'll get you some kombucha and goji berry granola. <laughs> I have no idea what that is, but I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> The abandoned mining town of Rocky Valley, Alaska has found its way into the spotlight as a small group of protesters take on the oil giant. Hey, Mom, extract. check it out. Dad's message is getting through. Rocky Valley is on the news. The new face of the protesters, Bigfoot. One accident could destroy Rocky Valley's fragile ecosystem, and that's why we're up here, to show people what's at stake and to push back against the oil company putting all this at risk. Why you? Why is Bigfoot the face of this protest? I'm currently getting my 15 minutes of fame, and I'm not going to waste it. If we can bring enough public pressure against Extract, they'll have to shut this operation down. We've got Connor Mandrake, the new CEO of the Extract Oil Company, which has been run by his family for three generations. Thanks, Jim. It's great to be on the show. Let me ask you a question. How did you get to work today? <laughs> I drove. Ah, exactly. The world still needs oil. Back in my father's day, extracting oil made a heck of a mess. That's what drove us to invent Extract's new clean oil technology. We're really more of a tech company these days. Our operation at Rocky Valley has zero environmental footprint. I want to assure all the protesters out there that Extract Oil has evolved with the times. Nobody cares more about the environment than me.
Uh, thanks for taking the time to inform our viewers about Extract's vision for clean oil. We'll be right back after these messages. Clean oil? Huh, you've got to be kidding me. That was like a commercial for the oil company. Taking ad money from the people you're interviewing? So much for journalistic integrity. Hey, look at the ad. Extract puts nature first. Just look around. We're taking great care of the environment. Clean oil by Extract for a cleaner tomorrow. I love that little jingle. Makes me want to buy some oil. Ah, uh, are you kidding me? Extract got us down, but we push back. Cause Bigfoot came to town. Mm -mm, Bigfoot came to town. Uh-huh, Bigfoot came. Hey, uh, what's going on, bro? The extract says their clean oil has zero environmental footprint. If they say it enough, people are gonna start believing it. Ugh, fake news, man. It's a new era. Our word against theirs. Why do they need armed guards, drones, and electric fences if they've got nothing to hide? Dude, they say they want to keep their clean oil extraction process secret. Well, at least until it's patented. We have to find out what's on the other side of that bridge. If their process is really as clean as they claim, they should show it to the world. But if it's not, and they're lying, we can shut Extract down for good. Whoa, that's deep, man. When Bigfoot came to town, yeah, baby. Bigfoot came to town. I'm telling you, Bigfoot came to town. <gasps> too far away. Look at that. Okay, I'm up, I'm up. Let's see how many views you got last night. Ugh, Dad, what did you do? Hey, Dad, it's me. Somehow you managed to delete all your videos and your password doesn't work anymore. Well, call me when you get this and I'll talk you through how to fix it. Okay, bye. The verdict is in. Dad has no idea how to work his computer. I mean, if you look like a caveman, you gotta make sure Alaska your computer today. sh- Bigfoot, leader of a small group of oil drilling protesters, has gone missing. What? Well, I saw him leave his tent last night. I assume it was just, you know, like a bathroom trip to the woods, you know? So I didn't offer to go with him or anything, because that would be strange, you know what I'm saying? Weird. But anyway, the extract guys said their security cameras showed him crossing the bridge. They went to look for him. Well, you know, but this is all that was left. Apparently, it was a pretty gruesome scene. It looks like Bigfoot was attacked by wolves. Attacked by wolves? Well, that makes no sense. Dad can talk to animals. There's no way they'd attack him. Adam's right. This makes no sense. That's just impossible. Uh, something weird is going on. Maybe the call of the wild was too strong and... 
Oh, we're losing him again. No, not a chance. Adam, he was really happy to be back home. Well, we need to catch the next flight to Alaska. Forget flying. If we're going out to the woods in the middle of nowhere, we should bring Wilbur as backup. So I say we take the camper. Hey, come on, I'm right here, and you know I want to go. Fine. Wilbur and Trapper. Whoa, 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 hold on. You want us to drive a thousand miles in that musty old camper with a grizzly bear and a raccoon? I know. I'm not saying it's gonna smell great, but we'll do it for Dad. <laughs> <sighs> All right, we're packed. Bye, girls. Take care of your mother. Don't do anything stupid, honey. Okay. But I can't make any promises. Hey, Steve, <laughs> now make sure to take my shows. I'll even wait to watch them with you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't waiting. I'm watching. Uh -uh. What? I've got to know if Brandine wakes up from her coma and meets her long-lost twin sister. I've just got to know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be gone for a few days. Can you grab my homework for me? Thanks. Okay, gotta go. No, you hang up first. No, you hang up. Let me help you with that. Hey! Ooh la la, was that your girlfriend? Shut up, Trapper. We're not strapping you to the roof. I apologize! My mouth got ahead of me. I get excitable when I travel. Hey, guys, buckle up. <laughs> oh, my seatbelt won't fit. <laughs> the seatbelts aren't for animals. <laughs> Don't play by human rules. Hey, watch out! <laughs> They got those seatbelt rules for a reason. Better play it safe. Your mom is a reckless road warrior. What did he say? Uh, he says he likes your musical taste. Yeah, really. That's what he said, huh? Sweetie? Nobody. Is it Emma? Maybe. 
She's such a nice girl and very pretty. Have you told her you have feelings for her? Mom, please. You know, your father was the same way at first. Too shy to tell me how he felt. Ugh, Mom, I'm gonna jump out the window if you don't stop talking. You know, I'll never forget our first kiss. It was... La, 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 I can't hear you. Sheesh, he cuts her off just when the story was starting to get good. <laughs> mm, I hope Dad is okay. You know, he spent over ten years on his own in the wilderness. I'm sure he's just fine. My two cents? He's probably missing his old lifestyle. We may never see him again. You want me to get rid of him? Let's get rid of him! Somebody call the Public Works Committee. I've never been to a real ghost town. <laughs> I'm scared. There's no actual ghosts. They just call it a ghost town. No, I'm scared I won't be able to get a good thin crust pizza out here. <laughs> we're stuck. Can you back out? No, we're just spinning. Hey, if we die out here, we could be the ghosts in this ghost town. Trapper! What? Oh, give me a break. We're a thousand miles from the nearest tow truck. Ugh, I wish Dad were here. Well, thanks for the ringing endorsement. Glad I could help. Sorry, that's not what I meant. Ah! Ah! <sighs> oh, sorry. You scared us. Me? <laughs> I don't think I've ever scared anyone before. <sighs> I guess we're all just a little jumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Lady, you gotta warn somebody when you got a grizzly in the back of your camper van. Oh, well, that's just Wilbur. He's harmless. Hey, you're one of the protesters. We saw you on TV. Hey, the name's Arlo. Arlo Woodstock. Hi, Arlo. I'm looking for my husband, James Harrison. He's six foot one, brown eyes, great smile. Uh, he's also Bigfoot, Mom. In the future, you should probably lead with that. <laughs> yes, he's Bigfoot. I'm still not used to calling him that. So, where are the other protesters? After what happened to Bigfoot? Huh, they got scared and bugged out. There's no way they're telling the truth about what happened to him. <laughs> He's a tough guy. He can handle himself in the wild. Not sure what good it'll do you, but I can take you to the last place I saw him. All right, I'm going with Arlo. Adam, stay here with Wilbur. No way! I didn't come all the way to Alaska just to wait in the car. Let me check it out and make sure it's safe, and then I'll come back and get you. Listen to your mom, kid. You'll be safer here with the bear, uh, I think. Oh, Mom. Adam, this is not up for debate. Lock the door and don't open it for anybody but me. Okay. You let anything happen to him, you're a rug. A rug? <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Paper, scissors, stone. Yeah, 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 I win! No, I win! Stone over scissor! What scissor? This is a clean sheet of paper! Oh, you cheater! Okay, 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 okay! How about a game of poker? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Wilbur. Four twos. I win! Uh, are you sure? Of course I'm sure. A two is better than a one. Oh, you cheater! So I was a millionaire on paper. <sighs> but then the market tanked before I could unload my shares. Can you believe that? You've been gone for too long. I'm gonna go check it out. Uh-uh. Can't let you go. I promised your mom. 
After all we've been through, you side with her over me? Absolutely! I'm terrified of your mom. She might turn me into a rug. Me too. She's got that crazy look in her eyes. Total psycho. Shh, I hear something. Guys, get down. Uh, who is it? Friend of your mom's. Open up. Friend of my mom? She doesn't know anybody up here. Sure she does. She told me to come get you. Hurry up. We gotta go. <sighs> oh, you ain't got time for this. <laughs> <laughs> Show's over, kid. You're coming with us. Oh, get him! Get him! Run! Get out of here! Ah! No way he survived that. We're done here. Ah. <sighs> oh, that figures. No signal. My dad came here to stop the oil company, but then he disappeared. Maybe you're going to disappear, too. Not all humans are bad. If you help me find my dad, I promise we'll do everything we can to protect your valley. Ah, oh, why should I believe you? Either I'm telling the truth, and we can help each other, or I'm lying, and you can eat me. Not much meat on those bones. Well, it's what I've got to offer. Plus, I don't plan on getting eaten. I'm telling the truth. I don't know where your father is, but I can show you where to start looking. 
Huh? Ouch! Come on, you big galoot, get up! You can't handle one lousy dart! Oh, that'd do it. All right, we're stranded out here, and we're all on our own. We gotta take stock of our supplies. Okay, big guy. I know you like to eat, but we're gonna need to ration our food. Hmm. Uh, of course, we don't want to get so weak that we can't defend ourselves, <laughs> and you are out cold. So I gotta keep my strength up. I'm doing this to protect you. I take no pleasure in eating this double fudge caramel wafer. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, that's good. Mm -hmm. It also mm, brings me mm, no joy to eat this entire mm, mm, bag of marshmallows. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's good. Keep up. Not much further now. You said that two hours ago. Uh, 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 I'm dying for something to eat. And I'd like to eat something that's dying. <laughs> good one. <laughs> Play on words. Hey, where are you going? Uh, huh? Uh, wolf, run! Huh? Wolf, stop! What are you doing? What's wrong with you? You know this maniac? Wait, are you two in cahoots? It's not like that. Oh, sure, I get how this works. You lure me out, he eats me! You keep going, I'll stop it. Oh, don't put me down, are you nuts? <laughs> no! Stop! What is wrong with you? Uh, it's instinct. I couldn't help myself. You know, if you were a vegetarian, it would be a lot easier for you to make friends. Uh, does the phrase lone wolf ring a bell? I'm not here to make friends. <laughs> now come on, it's just over that ridge. Okay, let's go. So much for clean oil leaving no environmental impact. I'll bet you anything my dad's down there. Let's go! Come on! This is far as I go. What? I will not walk on poisoned land. You're just gonna leave me? I kept my promise by bringing you here. Now you keep yours and save our valley. Hmm. up here in Alaska, we'd be delighted to bring our clean oil process to your little town. Yes, yes, that 
Sounds perfect. Man, I hate drilling in Alaska. It's way too cold up here. I hear ya. I wish we were still drilling in Texas. Nah, I hate Texas too. It's way too hot. You're a difficult man to please, Roy. Extract puts nature first. Just look around. We're taking great care of the environment. Clean oil by Extract for a cleaner tomorrow. So gullible. Ain't that right, Grandpa? We mandrakes can sell snow to an Eskimo. All you gotta do is look the part. First, you got your sparkly ring and your 10 gallon Stetson. Oh, and let's not forget the big old belt buckle. That's it. Pew pew! <laughs> oh, looking good. Yes! Okay, give me one minute, I'm on my way. Dang it! What's the holdup? Uh, Mr. Mandrake, drilling through the frozen ground is taking longer than we anticipated. You eggheads didn't think Alaska would be cold? We have our IPO coming up at the end of the month, and I need results now! But, sir, there's also been some concern raised about the BD-416 impact charge. The BD-416? That's a terrible name. Doesn't have a ring to it. From now on, we're gonna call that bomb... The Big Daddy! Yes, sir. So, the bad news is, the shockwave from the bi <clears throat> Big Daddy that will fracture the bedrock and will force a huge amount of oil to the surface. The level will be much higher than anticipated, flooding the entire valley. Cool! Maximum impact for maximum oil. That's not bad news. But what about the larger environmental impact? <laughs> with Bigfoot and his hippie followers gone, who's watching? But of course, with heavy hearts, we'll issue the standard apology. Down here! Arlo? Adam, dude, don't go that way. There's guards waiting for you at the top. There's another way out. Follow me, hurry! What are you doing here? Yeah, uh, your mom. Yeah, she sent me to get you. She's worried sick, dude. Is she okay? She's fine, man. Oh, here, hold this for a second, will you? Yeah, and let's just make this nice and tight and comfortable for you. <laughs> what are you doing? You hippies are so trusting. It's pathetic. It's why we always bring you down from the inside, punk. I thought you were one of us. Oh, sorry to burst your bubble, kid, dude. Yeah, whatever. I'm a hired gun. I go where the money is, and there's always money in big oil. Ugh. Arlo here. Tell the boss I'm coming in with the intruder. Don't even try it, kid. Uh, what happened? No. Oh, those extract goons shot us with darts, stuffed us in the trailer, and rolled us into a ditch. Uh, and you know what's worse? <coughs> they took all our food, every single last piece. And then they came back and left us with the trash. That's terrible. Where's Adam? He used those big feet of his and outran them. We gotta go after him. How are we gonna do that? We're stuck in a ditch. It's okay. I'll push. You think you could drive this thing? Yeah, what kind of question is that? I'm a raccoon. Of course I can drive this thing.
resume. Come on, lazy bones, quit sitting around. We gotta find Adam. Move over, NASCAR. There's a new champ in town. And it lives on a gas pedal. You're doing great, pal. You're a natural. <laughs> we have a perimeter breach on the bridge. Whoa. I repeat. A perimeter breach on the bridge. They're in a camper van. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you say camper van? Just so unfair. How could they do that? That's all. You know, you're trespassing. I could have you arrested. That's a great idea. Let's call the cops right now. <laughs> Up here, we prefer to handle security ourselves. Is it really worth destroying this place just to get oil? Absolutely! You think I give a hoot about this high-tech, clean energy? Not a chance. I'm an oil man. My daddy was an oil man. My daddy's daddy was an oil man. Oil's not going away on my watch. In fact, with this new extraction method, oil's about to get a lot more profitable! What did you do with my parents? Tell you what, I'll make you a deal. If you promise you won't tell anyone what you've seen up here, I'll take you to them. Whatever it takes. I just want my family back. Wise choice. After all, family is the most important thing. Well then, allow me to reunite you. <laughs> They're down there somewhere. <laughs> Adam Harrison. I'm stuck underground with no signal. This phone has enough evidence on it to bring down extract for good. Whoever finds this, put these videos online and expose these people for who they really are. Mom and Dad, if you see this, there's some stuff I want to say. Dad, I'm sorry for getting mad at you for coming to Alaska. You were right. This place is worth saving. And Mom, I love you, and I want you to know how much I appreciate everything. Well, except your meatloaf. And finally, Emma. It turns out, life is short. I wish I hadn't been too scared to tell you how I felt. To be honest, I'm gonna miss you so much. Are you okay? <laughs> Easy, Mom. 
It hurts. Let me get those off you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Careful with that thing. Stay still. <laughs> oh, thanks. Have you seen Dad? Oh, he's got to be down here, too. Oh, these tunnels go on forever. I don't know how we're going to find him. Dad's got great hearing. If we make enough noise, he'll be able to hear us. Dad! Jim! Dad! Jim! see you. I was so worried. I thought I'd never see you again. I knew I could count on you. I was naive to think I could do this on my own. Forget that. Now let's finish this thing. Together. We've got to get out of here. Extract is gonna blow this place to smithereens, and I'd rather not be down here when it happens. I can't go anywhere. My foot is broken. Okay. I'm on it. Stick together. Now let's get out of here. Come on! Sir, we've just hit target death. Finally! Now, prepare the big daddy! Prepare the BD-416. Ouch! Uh, I mean, prepare the big daddy. about. If that thing blows, this entire mine will collapse. We've got to disarm it. Those things don't look very friendly. I don't think they noticed us. Shh. Sir, there's something you have to see. Look. They are not going to compromise our operations. Make sure they don't get out alive. Uh, sir, just to clarify the air here, and, and please do not take offense, um, are you asking me to kill them? Because that's not really in my job description. Not in my job description? What? Arlo, get over here! Oh, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Move over, pal. Hey! Time to see what these drone babies can do. Let's take a ride! 
Okay, let's go. Mm. As long as these tunnels haven't caved in, this thing has got to lead somewhere. fast as you can. Technically, they're my babies. I'm the one who pays for them. Last drone. <laughs> well, there's no escape in the big day. We're not scheduled to detonate for another 24 hours. We have to clear all our equipment and change plans. Y'all got 10 minutes. Oh, this is insane. Anything left in this valley is gonna be drowned in a beautiful ocean of oil. Take your teams and evacuate now. 10 minutes until detonation. All personnel evacuate now. 10 minutes. The explosions must have set the oil on fire. Uh, guys? We're gonna have to jump it. We don't have enough speed. Hang on!
Are you okay? Yes, we're fine. Evacuate. Evacuate. Time to detonation. One minute, 30 seconds. Adam, get out of the valley as fast as you can. Get to higher ground. Well, what about you? Everything is going to be okay. Go now. Time to detonation. One minute, 15 seconds. seconds to detonation. We're running out of time. We need to move. I hope Adam made it to safety. I'm sure he's fine. Let's go. 30 seconds to detonation. <laughs> Adam! Oh, no! Okay. How do I get down there? 15 seconds to detonation. I hope this works. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. What's going on? Disarm. What are you waiting for? Start it up again! It's not that simple, sir. If it's been switched off at the source, the only thing that could detonate it would be another detonation. Can't we use a, a small fracking bomb for this? Yes, I suppose in theory that would have enough explosive charge to trigger the BD-416. Uh, I mean the uh, Big Daddy. Arlo. Can you handle that device? Sure thing. I used one to blow up my old foster home when I was a kid. It works. Great. Let's go, then. Ouch! <sighs> I need a break. Huh? Oh, what now? They've got another bomb! Oh, no! All right, listen up. When we toss this bomb, we gotta get back up the cliff before the valley floods with oil. How long do we have? Uh, you ever have to run to the bathroom in a hurry? Yeah, that fast. And the hero rode in on his mighty steed. Look, we gotta stop them. Step on it. It's already stepped on, but maybe this'll help. We're coming at them. Never mind. The bear? Ah, he's harmless. Oh, hey, hey, back off! Lean back! Oh, deal with him. Ruben, watch out! Oh, oh. oh Not again! Oh. Hang on, Wilbur! Give it to him, Wilbur! Don't worry about me. I'm a goner anyway. Here, Mr. Big Fool himself. Long time no see. Now, give it to me. Never. <laughs> You'd rather blow us all up. This ends now. You see, 
That's why you hippies will never win. There's no room for dreamers out here, Bigfoot. Your type. Get off my land! Get out of here! <laughs> hey, the light's still flashing. Shouldn't you turn that off? Oh, shoot, I can't stop it. Plan B. Good. But you did good, son. Huh. Too close for comfort, that's for sure. Don't you ever do something like that again. You're safe. I'm so proud of you. Huh? Guys, what happened? You totally wrecked the camper. Uh-oh! It's not my fault. Trapper? Where's Trapper? I'm... Uh, I'm here. This is Channel 6 News. We'd like to ask you some questions. It worked! They saw my videos! Hey, Mandrake! Smile! You're on camera! What are they doing up there? This is restricted airspace! They're here to show the world what you did. So you know, I uploaded the video of you talking about your plan to destroy Rocky Valley. <laughs> we'll say it's fake news, deny the whole thing! Well, you know what they say, the truth will set you free. Not in your case. You're going to jail. Hey, look! The cops! Go! <laughs> Dinner time. I don't like human flesh, but a fresh snow rabbit. Well, here we go again. I'm Becky Dabmore, and you're watching Good Morning World. I'm here on location in Alaska, where Bigfoot and his family have saved Rocky Valley from an environmental disaster. So, Dr. Harrison, it looks like you did find a way to make the world a better place. Thanks, Becky, but I didn't save this place. It was my son, Adam. And what about you, Adam? What do you have to say? You know what? My dad was right. One person really can make a difference. The government is now taking action to protect this land. Nobody will ever be able to drill here again. Mom, you must be so proud. I am. I'm proud of the whole family. <laughs> <laughs> so I grab the oil company CEO and I look him right in his beady little eyes and I say, it's time to end this crude behavior. <laughs> Get it? Because sometimes unrefined oil is called crude. Ugh. I gotta tell ya, I just don't think it's funny. The point is, I saved the day. And I'm also the hero of this story. <laughs> Fine, Wilbur helped too. And Adam, I guess. But it was mostly me. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Sorry. Bad toss. <laughs> Normally, I'd be upset. But I gotta admit, you make a great flapjack. Um, keep them coming. Um, oh, I'm gonna be late. I'll see you all tonight. Have fun. Say hi to Emma for me. Ooh la la. <laughs> <Mwah>. <laughs> Mom, don't encourage them. Don't encourage who? Oh, hi, Emma. Perfect timing. What are you watching? You know when you uploaded your videos? You uploaded all your videos. Uh-oh. Emma, it turns out life is short. I wish I hadn't been too scared to tell you how I felt. Hey! Emma, will you go out with me? <gasps> Damn! 
<laughs> Never mind them. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Our boys all grown up. <laughs> Can I get another pancake over here? <laughs> Sit down, turn around, and let's get out of this town Where the people have scars just from living And let's drive on down below on this solemn country road While the city lights fade fast in the night place without a name and not a sound. 